Hi now, everybody. Welcome back. Out for a walk, enjoying this beautiful but hot day here in Taipei. Walking along the famous Xinying Road here in Da'an District. I thought this would be a great time to go ahead and introduce you to this week's video, which is all about the history of Taipei City. So, without further ado, let's go check it out. Welcome to Taipei, a vibrant global city where every corner tells a story. As you weave through the speeding scooters and are drawn in by the tantalizing smells of street food, you quickly discover that Taipei is not just a city, but a li living, breathing chronicle of history and culture. Over the last 150 years, Taipei has grown from a fortified town to a Japanese colony, becoming a thriving economic powerhouse we see today. Each phase of its history has left a lasting imprint on the cityscape. Join us as we explore how Taipei's rich past shapes its dynamic present. Ready to dive into layers of Taipei's transformation? Let's get started. Before we explore Taipei, let's take a look back at Taiwan's diverse history. Today, the island is mostly Han's Chinese, but it started with indigenous Austronesians whose reach extended to Fuji, New Zealand, and Madagascar. Named Formosa by Portuguese sailors struck by its beauty, Taiwan has hosted Dutch and Spanish traders, Ming pirates, Qing rulers, Japanese colonists, and Chinese nationalists. Each group has left an imprint, creating the rich cultural mosaic we see in Taipei today. The Taipei Basin, nestled among hills, mountains, and dormant volcanoes, was originally an ancient lake bed, but is now the city center. The Ketagalian people were the first to call this fertile land home. The Spanish, enticed by maritime prospects, settled in the north in the Keelong and Danjue regions. Farther south, immigrants from Fujian in southern China settled near the Danjue River at the Wanwa and Dadadao Shan areas. Duwa Street is Taipei's oldest street where history meets contemporary through lively marketplaces and preserved buildings. After the Sino-Japanese War, Taiwan was ceded to Japan, marking a new chapter in its history. Japan set out to demonstrate its colonial prowess, focusing on utilizing resources such as coal, rice, and sugar, while also heavily investing in the island's infrastructure and educational systems. A significant transformation during this era was the removal of Taipei's old city walls. In their place, the Japanese constructed grand boulevards and expanded the city grid system, changes that have left a lasting architectural legacy. Remnants of this period, like the preserved city gates, still stand as testaments to this influential era. World War II brought devastation to Taipei, then known as Tahuku, with severe bombings by the U.S. and nationalist China. This tack played a crucial role in Japan's eventual surrender of Taiwan to the Republic of China in 1945. Significant instability was present during the post-war transition. The ROC government repatriated most Japanese residents and implemented strict measures to suppress dissidents. A stark symbol of these times is the notorious February 28th incident a harsh crackdown on anti-government uprising. Today, this date is remembered and honored at the Peace Memorial Park, a site dedicated to forgiveness and remembrance.
In 1949, due to the continuing defeat in the Chinese Civil War, the Republic of China retreated to Taiwan, marketing a pivotal moment in the island's history. This exodus brought over a million people from mainland China, along with significant quantities of weapons, gold, and priceless artifacts. This mass influx transformed Taipei, triggering a wave of rapid and often unregulated urban development. The resulting cityscape, a mix of orderly grids and bustling narrow alleyways, is today alive with cafes, restaurants, and vibrant markets. The ROC also left their cultural mark, remodeling the city gates to reflect the northern Chinese aesthetics, except for the northern gate, which retains its original Fujian style. From 1965 to 1986, Taiwan underwent remarkable economic transformation, often referred to as the economic miracle. Under the guidance of Premier Sun Wen Xuan, the island saw construction of a world-class highway system, which significantly enhanced access to Taipei city center and facilitated the expansion of the city's influence into the surrounding areas. This period of rapid growth wasn't just physical, but also political. By the 1980s, under mounting pressure from activists, the Kuomintang government began to relax its tight grip. The era of strict authoritarian rule ended with the lifting of martial law in 1987, paving the way for Taiwan's first democratic elections in 1996. Liberty Square, initially constructed to honor Chiang Kai-shek, has become a pivotal stage for Taiwan's democratic journey. Over the years, this iconic square has witnessed numerous pro-democracy protests, including the influential Wild Lily student movement. Today, it stands not just as a tribute to a leader, but as a symbol of Taiwan's unwavering commitment to democratic values and the vibrant participation that continues to shape its political landscape. Today, Taipei stands as a beacon of technological innovation and sustainability. Recognized globally for its safety and convenience, the city offers a seamless blend of modern living with a rich cultural heritage. From its impressive skyline to its bustling night markets, serene temples, and scenic mountains, all are easily accessible through a well-connected network of metro, bus, and high-speed rail. Coupled with its warm and welcoming residents and an incredible array of local cuisine, Taipei is not just a city to live in, but a destination to cherish and explore. Well, there you have it, guys. The complete history about the city of Taipei itself. Now, if you enjoyed this video as much as I did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. This really lets YouTube know to expand the channel. Till next time, Dai Zai Jed. See you guys on the next video.